So Nigel, how has the reaction of the squad been in training following last Saturday's results? Well obviously we're all very disappointed with the result. The three goals we gave away were really poor goals we gave away. Some of the stuff we did was good but the win played a massive factor in the game didn't it? The ball was hardly ever in play. The, um, long story short anyway that, that's the result on that. But the weather on Tuesday Everyone was here. Wow, it was blowing a gale, the wind was coming in, the rain was coming in, the pitches were totally waterlogged. So great attitude from the players on the Tuesday for the training point of view. On the Monday, we had a good, honest conversation in the debrief because things went on that we can't allow to go on with the goals we conceded. But then when we flipped that, we always look at the positive things and obviously our, there's a lot of things that we've done that we were looking to improve on, we are improving on, but we got beat. We have the news this week that both Joe Murphy and Harvey Saunders have agreed new deals. Murphy, of course, both a player and a goalkeeping coach. How much of a boost are they to your options for next season? Really pleased. Obviously, we're looking to evolve now to where we're going. Joe Murphy, great senior player uh, from my point of view. You, you, you can't have enough good senior players with the right standards. And every day he comes in. Sometimes the youngsters, they don't know what they don't know, they've not seen. You see him working every day. On the training ground, it's clarity of uh, coaching is really good. He's helped Luke McGee become a better goalkeeper, that's definite. But then when we talk about him as a goalkeeper, you just see him all the time. You know, his attitude is spot on. He's in a gym, he looks after himself. Age is not an issue with it. Every day on the training ground, <clears throat> as I say, his message, his clarity, his calmness, right? His shot stopping, his distribution, top draw. So I'm really pleased that we've managed to secure um, John Murphy for next season. Uh, and again, all being well, that'll help Luke McKee become an even better goalkeeper for next year. And we will make sure that we've got another young goalkeeper as well to, uh, to make sure that we've got three goalkeepers. I want 22 outfield players and three goalkeepers and where we're going. And again, the different ages and the different things we can try and look to improve on that is important. Flip it to Harvey Saunders. I, I really like Harvey Saunders. Why? One every day is just energetic. Give me, surround yourself with energetic people, not naysayers, not people who are going to be miserable all the time. He's just a bundle of energy who wants to get better. He's got this undivided, blistering pace, he causes chaos. Fantastic. Now, from my point of view, he helps us get up the pitch. He'll run anywhere, he'll do everything for his teammates, and he's a joy to be with. He's only going to get better over the next two years. Yes, one thing we want to do is maybe see if we can improve his goal scoring record, but that's something we can work on. We're always looking to work on it. And Harvey, as I said, he's been instrumental. When we were on a good run of form, you know, Harvey was an important player of our team. So from my point of view, as I said, 22 outfield players next season. Harvey's one of that group. Uh, and again, you've got to you know, be able to deal with games in different ways. And Harvey gives us the, uh, a situation where, that, I say, that blistering place, he'll chase shadows, he'll just do everything he can to improve and help the team. And I'm really pleased that he's part of our armory for next season. How, how important is it then that we keep that core of the squad together as well as making some additions this summer? Oh, we're definitely going to make additions, but you're rightly saying, respect of the group that we've got, you know, we won four games over Christmas. We were a consistent side. We won a lot of games. We've gone from looking over for relegation with that for who we could get to in a playoff position here. Obviously, that's just fa faded away the last couple of games. But we were consistent with the team selection. And all being well, we've got that consistent team for next season. So there's something to build on. As I said, I want a smaller squad next year where we'll have 22 outfield players, three goalkeepers, and we've got a group there who we can start pre-season with a team. Not many teams can go and do that because quite normally you start pre-season and you're, you're scratching round to try and get people to make a training session up you know, because of the way, the nature of how you can go and sign players. Now, we're ahead of the game as far as I'm concerned. We've already got a team that's proved, having beaten Stockport, having beaten uh, Wrexham, having beaten Mansfield. We've got a group who have shown they can do it. We've got to do it more on a more consistent basis. But you're building something. We're building a team. So we've got a group who are already in situ to do it. We can start pre-season. We're planning pre-season pre plan. But we're, we're getting ourselves in a position where we can hit the tarmac running a pre-season and not wait halfway through. We don't know what the players have done through the summer where they're going to come in, we think, well, he, he can't train because he's only got that. You know, he's not trained for the last two months. He can't do this. He's got an injury. I want the players to be back, fit, firing. So we're already ahead of the game. And as I rightly said, we'll bring seven, several players in that will make our squad up then to actually be better. We make the trip to Newport this weekend. What kind of a response are you expecting from the team? Well, the players have responded really well in the past this season. 
when we maybe lost the game, we've come back and responded in the right manner. You're always going to be judged on the result, uh, but from my point of view, it's the attitude and application and what we're working on. Now, we've got this situation where we can maybe work on two or three things that we can, if you like, look at that maybe could be beneficial for us for next season. Two or three things that when we look at some data and things that we've gone and done that we've conceded goals or we've not done certain things in a certain way. Well, if we carry on doing what we're doing, we'll end up what we've been doing. So how can we improve it, change something then? So we're subtly been changing things. Uh, so from my point of view, we're going to go down to Newport. Now it's going to be a tough game. You know, Graham's obviously probably in a, in a similar boat where they've got situations to change around themselves. So that's fine. We're just concentrating on us. Uh, and so from my point of view, we've got players fighting for contracts. Uh, we've got players who have done really well for us who aren't going to be available. Right? So that's, that's another side of it when we talk about consistency in team selection. And there's things that we're looking to see what we can learn and see if we can improve in several aspects of our performance. With the mindset still, as never going to change. Be competitive in every game. Strive to win every game of football that we play. And we've got three league games left and that's still the same message. We came back to beat Newport in the reverse fixture with a late winner from Conor Jennings, but they're a strong team who sit two places above us currently in the league. What do you expect from Graham Coughlin's side? Well, I think, like everything, Graham's he's a committed guy. He's going to want hard work, graft. They'll probably change the formation round, they'll change the personnel round, and the same thing. Players are out of contract, maybe been an interesting run of form of late. They've changed their formation in the last four or five games as well. So, as I said, we've just got to adapt to that, but we've got to focus on what we do. I think that's important. We've had a stronger way travelling all season. How important is it that the Rovers fans are loud and proud once again as we look to regain momentum with the results on Saturday? Yeah, I think from my point of view, there's an opportunity every Saturday, Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, as a Tramier Rovers supporter, as a Tramier Rovers fan, where you can go and watch your team, our team, perform. I mean, go up and down the country. And yet, sometimes the result dictates the mood. I want to make sure that the players give everything they've got to try and win a game of football and be competitive. Now look at the big picture side of it. Isn't it great that you can say, right, I'm going to go this weekend, I'm going to go down to Wales at Newport. I can look forward to planning the journey. I can look forward to the weekend. I can look forward to going with my mates or my mum, my dad, my brother, my sister, my family members. It's an occasion. Now, sometimes we get masked by the result. But it's an occasion, it's an occasion to be enjoyed. So we're going to go down to Newport and I really appreciate the supporters. As I said, one myself, I know how challenging it is, right? All I can do is just demand that all of us give everything we've got. Uh, the opposition are going to have a say in that. But make it an enjoyable weekend going down to Newport. And then the following weekend, we're back at Prenton Park, last game of the season, you know, at Prenton Park. Make it an enjoyable experience to come down to Prenton Park, as I said, with your mates, with your family members and know that we're supporting Tramway Rovers, this is our cause and we can come in and go, the players are trying, that's a given, they're going to try, they're going to try everything they can to go and win, they're going to try everything they can to entertain, they're going to work hard, the, the result might go against us. But I can go down there knowing that I'm sat next to somebody I can see once a fortnight if you like a Premier. are you getting on mate? And just have a conversation and a chat and you might not see him for two weeks or you can say right I'm taking my dad down to the football. Right, because further down the line, unfortunately, the way life is, you might not be there with your dad because your dad might not be around. So make the most of it. Every opportunity, seize the opportunity, and it's memories. Life's about making memories. So from my point of view, just supporting Tramway Rovers, going the length and breadth of the country down to Prenton Park, that is special in itself. Try not to surround yourself with naysayers. Try not to surround yourself with people who are just going to zap your energy because it's just going to be negative and whinge and moan all the time. Surround yourself with upbeat, positive people and enjoy the experience of going down to Pretton Park to watch Tramway Rovers, Newport at the weekend, up and down the country watching Tramway Rovers. We've got a belonging, it's something to look forward to. It's something that should be treasured. It's something that we should really look forward to. And, uh, you know, hopefully we'll see you all down at um, Newport at the weekend. Just finally then, how are the team looking from an injury point of view with some players missing out? Last yeah, it, it's been a shame because um, I think supporters might appreciate, you need to understand that when a player crosses the white line, he's not always fit. You know, especially towards the end of the season when it's a competitive natured sport and it's physical. So for example, last weekend, 
Tom Davis captained the team. He wasn't fit. But he knew he had to be out there for the team. And for me, top draw. Because he knew he had to be out there to support the team with the captain. Because he's played alongside young John Balahoon, making only his second game. He needed support. Now, why was that? Jordan Turnbull has carried a shoulder injury for over a year now. He's gone out there and he's got on with it. Now, he's had an operation on his shoulder to fix that, so that he is then ready, fit, 100% for the start of pre-season, not halfway through pre-season because we've gone through the last bit again. He's 100% fit. Joe Yarny picked up a, an ankle injury at Bradford, so he's not out training yet. So, on the back of that, we've had to recall Ben Hockenall, who's been playing at Southport. So, luckily, he has been playing, getting some games, so he's now been back in the fold to cover the situation on that. Young Connor Wood has had a great season for us. From where he came in, he's got better and better and better. And again, another one of the group that were consistently winning games. He picked up a calf injury, so he's not available for the weekend. And we look at, um, who else? We've got Brad Walker. Brad Walker and Regan Henry, superb. You look at the win percentage when we win in all them games, with them two playing together, really complemented each other well. But uh, uh, Brad Walker's had a little bit of an ankle issue, so we've had that tidied up now so that he will be ready, fit for the start of pre-season. Utilise this time now, um, instead of waiting a bit longer, get that sorted. So he's done that. Kieran Morris broke his nose, came off the, a couple of weeks ago, practised his nose in a couple of places. So he's not available for this weekend. So all of a sudden you talk about five players who were in the team when we were consistently winning. So that in itself presents a little challenge, but what a great opportunity for players who have maybe not been in the team, who are fighting for a contract, Come on then, give us everything you've got. Show us what you've got. You should be trying your socks off to win a place in the team, to win a contract for next season. And if you're not winning a contract here, you should be showcasing your talents to try and get a contract somewhere else. So from that point of view, I'd like to think that the players should go out and give everything they've got whilst they're playing for Tramie Rovers.